So today we're doing the gun game challenge in Battlefield 1 and the assault class is up first. The rules are simple. You have to go from the top to bottom on the weapon selection screen. Take a weapon, get two kills with it and move on to the next. Repeat the process until you're all out of weapons. All right, let's get to it. All right, all assault weapons, gun game style, here we go. The first one is the Model 10A Slug. So we're doing shock operations on Zebrugger and it's a very unique map and a pretty open one at that too. And shotguns, not really the weapon class I'd use on this. But since the map is pretty dark, I might use that to my advantage. And that's our first kill. Oh no, buddy, that's... Those are two bad drops, back to back. You're a sneaky one, aren't you? Get shot and slowly back off. We're done with this gun, but let's see how many more we can pick off. That's another. And that's the fourth. Alright, let's move on to the Model 10A Hunter now. Ooh, that's an infamous gun. At launch, the Model 10A Hunter was the most ridiculous gun in the game. It's so simple, yet so genius, they never see it coming. Model 10A Factory it is now. These guys are playing like bots. They don't have any reactions to getting shot or whatever. Yeah, safe to say, they're pretty slow. <laughs> Next up is the M97 French Gun Sweeper. Attacking team, come on, you've got to try. For the video, guys, please. Even though there's no way you'd know anything about it. You know what, I'm so confident in getting my two kills. I'm gonna melee him. No! And that, kids, is why you should not be overconfident. Now let's move on to the backboard version of the M97. I see my two guys on the minimap. One of them is sleeping with his eyes open. Easily done, let's move on to the hunter. To be completely honest with you guys, I thought doing the shotguns would be much more harder than this. But this is turning out to be a cakewalk. I'm really enjoying this. Hit, come on. That could be my second one. Yes, finally. Okay, I'm very relieved because now we're moving on to one of my favorite weapons, the MP18 Trench. Don't know what happened to my aim midway through that gunfight, but we still made it. Okay, I've got the MP18 Experimental now, which is the MP18 with a Burst Fire mod. Yup, knew you'd be in there. We got any friends? Yes, you do. Not gonna make the same mistake twice. It's actually not too bad, you know. I thought it'd be pretty horrible. Okay, now that we're over with that, we can move on to the MP18 Optical. I'm gonna smoke that and move up. A lot of people are pushing up here. The last round ended as I was getting started with the Automatico. And I'm happy that it did. Because Riversome has trenches and the Automatico is pretty well suited to that. That's one. Just like that, it is now automatical storm time. Oh, I'm so tempted to steal that tank hunter from them. But I can't because I'm doing a challenge. Camping in the tower, really? That's the first. Come on, I just need to find one more guy. And gotcha. Say goodnight. Time to move on to the Automatico factory. I wanna jump out, but I feel like now would be a pretty bad time to do it. Oh. 
And we're already done. Moving on, what's next? The 12G automatic shotguns. Now the 12G automatic in BF5 is really, really strong. Can't say the same for the BF1 version though. But it seemed to work pretty well there. Moving on to the 12G Hunter. Were you sleeping for a second? <laughs> yeah. Alright, 12G Automatic Extended next. Oh no, that easily could have been a double kill. Assist counts as kill, no. Can't count that. Well, it's a good thing we're moving on to the Hell Regal now. There's the double kill I like to see. Okay, so I apologize. The Hell Regal defensive is one of the guns I don't have unlocked, as is the Shogun Inertial Factory, but I do have the Slug variant. So we are going to be using that next. Triple kill and the third one was a headshot, I'll take it. And now we are on to one of my favorite DLC weapons in the assault class, the Ribby Rolls. A hundred and ten damage and no kills. How in the world do I even manage to do that? Barely made it. That'll teach you to go prone in an open area. We have secured. New sector, new variant of the Ribe Rolls. Here's the optical one. Damn it, I almost got the guy under the field gun. And there's my second kill. You, sir, are very annoying. Okay, so the Model 1900 factory is logged again. I apologize, but we do have the Model 1900 slug. But I think we might win the match before I get to use it. There's a machine gun. There's the first kill and a headshot. And there's the second. Wait, it's been like 30 seconds. How have we already lost the sector? Anyway, got my two kills. Let's move on to the SMG-08 factory. I am totally in love with this weapon right now. I did a whole video on it, basically proving that it's overpowered. Got the first one. Let's smoke and move up. This is the Machina Pistol M1912 P.16 Experimental. That's a mouthful. Now this gun is actually pretty unique and experimental as the name suggests. So it can either fire in semi-auto or bursts of two rounds each. We've lost the sector but I just need my one kill and I got it. Let's move on to the Trench Carbine. Another one of the guns that was in Battlefield 5 and again was very powerful. In this game though, you guessed it, not good. Okay, now we can move on to the patrol carbine. We're almost getting to the end. After this, we only have three more weapons to go. Now this is pretty much the same weapon with the scope, right? Okay, we have got to do something about that magnification. That is crazy. Why is it on four? Take me one more time, please. Appreciate that. Thank you. I'm pretty positive that this will be our last match. We're done with the patrol carbine. Now let's move on to the RSC SMG. 
There's our first. One more to go. Alright, the second last weapon is the Annihilator Trench. And a long distance kill for the second. Alright, last weapon to complete the challenge. The From a Stop Auto. Automatico versus From a Stop. Who's gonna win? From a Stop on top. Alright, and that was challenge complete. All of the assault guns in one video, with some exceptions that I haven't unlocked because I'm too lazy to do it and the challenges are very time consuming. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more Battlefield videos from me. And yeah, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Awesome Rome and I'll see you in the next one.